Our heroes have completed the quest that led them deep under the palace of Asgard. They have the map and the dagger and the spear. And they are ready to release the wolf. But first, they must deal with their hangovers before embarking on the most dangerous journey their souls will ever take. Shall we see if they succeed? <laughs> regular scheduled programming it is me loose your gm and i am back in the gm seat i am now in charge again so i can ruin everyone's lives um, woo! So welcome to season three of a rendezvous with destiny the idrisil arc yeah introduce yourself guys <laughs> uh hi my name is graham i play elspeth lockwood the guardian of balder and i am super excited to start season three let's go uh, hi, I'm Will. I'm playing Cleo Brewer, who is a hunter of Bast, and I'm looking forward to not GMing anymore, because you'll have heard <laughs> a lot of me GMing in the last couple of uh, sessions, and now I get to kick back and crack wise. Hi, it's Am, and me and Flora, daughter of Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, are back, and we are ready to do some real dumb stuff. Mm. I'm playing a sensible character, it was really fun. But I am so excited to be to just get stupid, just get crazy. It's gonna be real good. Get just, back into the chaos. Yeah. What are What are y'all looking forward to this season? Share Share with the ruining people. your lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luce has asked us some very sus questions, which we can't share. Yeah, with this that's moment. That's true. <laughs> I, I I'm looking forward to um, manipulating dialogue, so Luce has to have like lengthy conversations between <laughs> different PCs with themselves, going between accents, because it's always really funny. I hate yeah. it when you do this, because they're not easy accents to flip between. <laughs> yes, Prior to recording, we had about 10 minutes of loose practicing all the important NPC voices and us being like, oh my god, it's Manazun, hi, we missed I you. I haven't, because it's been so long, because we did a load of the Call of Cthulhu episodes, it's been so long since we actually recorded um, like actual rendezvous with Destiny stuff, and I was like, I can't remember what any of them sound like. I can't remember how to play the game. Oh, well, I never knew. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't think anyone's know how to play the game. <laughs> I'm looking forward to exploring Elspeth's family issues, which is going to be fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whilst the end of the world is happening, we're just going to be like, hey, there's some time to talk about your uh, lack of parent. Yeah, do you want to explore that one? Uh, I don't know if she does. I mean, she does because she's going to, but I don't know if she wants to. <laughs> I will say also, it was wonderful having Ellie here on as a guest. I miss her dearly. Our intro is immediately like a quarter of the length without yeah. a drama person with us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're all introverts. What, what? What can you do, Dude. eh? just realised I didn't have my dice out because I'm organised. No, I've I got don't. so many more dice Okay, now. that's it's good because I had like no idea how to segue into the intro. So <laughs> now we have dice game. Let's play a game. Play, play a game. Yes, let's, let's play a game. Play a game. Do we have this permission we from do. everyone to make fun of Anne for the segue thing again or not? Yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it needs to be brought up every so often. Yeah. Uh, so the every so often bringing up is that Anne thought segue was spelt the same as like the actual thing that people write on. So there you are. I will allow this one because it's season three. We might have some lovely new listeners who haven't heard my terrible dum dum brain yet. So. That's fair. I think we, we just need to one. bring it up once, once a season. Once a season. Once a season. I will give you that. Cool. <laughs> okay. So you guys can't talk about it for like. We're going to talk about it. We have 10 episodes just not on for air. 20 months. We're essentially now. six months at this point. We're talk about it in my private yeah. life. It's fine. You're fine. Yeah. For five months, you can't talk about it now. Um, so, would anyone like to play, and I use that term very, very loosely, on Would anyone like Skyon? to use some of the Skyon rules to tell a fun <laughs> story? Yes. yes. Excellent. So as we all left off, you guys were all having quite a lot of fun at a party. Um, Elspeth was playing with a puppy after having fallen asleep for a while. Um, Flora was mixing drinks, and Cleo um, was flirting with her health. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> normal party things, normal party things. Also hooking up with the goddess of death. 
Yes. I mean, to be oh, fair, that there aren't very many like direwolves at um at like parties, or if there are, I'm going to the wrong parties. I think we're going Correct. to the wrong parties. I just want a puppy so bad. I have a puppy, but I just want all the puppies. Yeah. Um, this is why I put lots of dogs. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to be the dog this season? Who is the dog of dog of the well, season? That is true. You do realise what you're trying to do this season, yes? That's true. As, yeah, there is a designated dog already. That's true. <laughs> there, is a, there is already a designated dog for the series. Government mandated <laughs> dog. Scary dog with lots of fangs. Yeah, but like, that's um, cute. Well, lots of fangs, Very but cute. less fangs than Kerberos, I'd imagine, on virtue less, of having yeah, less like heads. Third less. Less heads. Well, maybe. <laughs> So, <laughs> Sorry, it's going to be one of those sessions. <laughs> there is no tradition. What you'd call, there is no sun on Asgard. It does not not a planet in the sense that Earth is. But there is a defined night and day as constellations shift above and provide more light the half of the time. This as these constellations move across the sky, bringing light into palace the light falls through some windows into the room that you were staying at staying in where you got ready the big bed very lumpen under the covers which are these huge piles of furs as we look closer we can see all of our pcs along with fred manison and loki were all sort of somewhat passed out somewhat unconscious under the covers in a big pile. One big bed. One big bed. You. So, there's no one to wake you up. The sun is pouring through the windows. You start to feel you're very unconscious. But you start, but you know, rooms. You're, you feel a bit. Oh, it feels like a bit like something. Open your, open your mouth a bit. It feels a little bit like something's died a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's really dry, kind of furry. Mm. You try and open. You try and open your eyes slightly and slam them shut immediately against the bright light streaming in through the windows. So, what do you all do? Flora, I think, would just, like, without opening her eyes, sort of try and scoot over to a side table and blindly pat her hand around to see if there's any form of glass there. Any water, please. (laughs) (laughs) Just, um, roll me a d10 and tell me what you have. It's gonna be vodka. Oh, no. <laughs> I got a two. You um pat your hand around, and as you do, you can feel there's a there's a drinking horn there in a stand. Yeah. Try take a take a sip of whatever's in there. Bad, bad. Oh, it's me. Oh, bad. Oh no. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Flora, what are you doing? Uh, is, is that I water? was trying to find some water. No, uh, yeah, yes. Oh, and I hand it to great. Ellie. Um, take a big sip. Oh, I thought you said that was water. <laughs> Flora, have you ever Got seen you. water before? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> nice. Can, can you guys uh, keep it down? Yeah, no. Have, I'm trying to sleep. Have some water, Cleo. Anyone else awake? Anyone? Uh, Is it just... Um... Wait, Loki's here? D- I didn't know God slept. I think I did. Yeah, dude. Loki is very much. He's, they are lying on their back, like, almost like you know, they not quite the open. Dracula, <laughs> not quite the Dracula um co- coffin thing, but almost like arms over the chest. Brilliant. Just lying, stiff as a plank, um, and it just isn't moving. You think looking at them, you think they might be awake, um, but their eyes are very tightly shut and they're just completely still. Manison is starting to move and Fred sits up with his eyes still closed and just sort of No. Well the good news is everyone's alive. Flora's gonna kinda just poke Loki and be like is there like a this is a palace, right? Is there like a bell we can ring and people will bring us things? Yes. Do not ring a bell. Uh, it, um, <laughs> they lift they lift one hand and sort of pat you on the face. Um, because they haven't opened their eyes and they're like, I will Yeah, I will sort 
this out. Oh, why did I decide to do that? Can't you just like magic it away? You know. Yes, 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 I can. They wave their hand, and these sort of sparkling silver dust almost floats up and falls down over the bed. And you all do feel better. Not 100%. The hangover hasn't gone away. But, you know, you now feel like I could stand up and not vomit. Um, so Loki the, well, again sort of waves his hand in the direction of something you haven't quite noticed, which is this long, um, really delicately woven piece of fabric, thin piece of fabric that's hanging by, on the one side of the bed. And it pulls down. You don't hear anything, but you assume it's done something. Was that like magical hydration dust or something? Magic hangover go away. Okay, but there's got to be like a reason it works. Okay, I'll it's, ask you later. It's magic. Yeah, but I do it's it. Still got to. Uh... I listen. Magic doesn't work with, you know, physical laws. It breaks the laws of physics. Just gotta run with it, baby. I don't think I want to run anywhere right now. No, God no. So, what's the plan for today? Well, I think food is probably the most important plan for the day. And then Delicious. planning, because we've got a journey to go on. Exciting. Do we get more cool, like, adventure clothes? Ooh. We will need to supply ourselves. Yes, it's dangerous where we're going. We should all get cloaks. We should get matching cloaks. <gasps> yes. Or colour-coded cloaks. I can't decide. I feel like I'm the blue character. Oh, ooh, what no, makes you say the blue character. Kind of, I think you're, like, maybe... The red character? No, Cleo's the red character. Maybe a green. Oh, a green. Because you're like sneaky, and yeah. like, I feel like you could go through a forest and be all sneaky in a green cloak. That would be fun. That would be fun. Nice. Uh, I, yeah, we'll okay, I'm gonna. Flora's gonna get up and start stretching. As you do, there is a knock on the door. And Loki waves their hand, and the door opens, and in come some you know, palace servants with platters of food and water and juice yes. and then push it on the table nod and leave <laughs> it's a very Asgardian fare so it's not, it's essentially the Asgardian version of a full English delicious, there are vegetarian some vegetables and fruit there but it's mainly you know, big hunks of meat, bread more meat more bread a vegetable, more beet kind of vibe. <laughs> there is some fruit. Are there any eggs? Yes, there's eggs galore. There's eggs Yummy. in many different ways. Scrambled, poached, fried, whatever you want. I really enjoy how much time in this podcast we spend talking about breakfast. We like breakfast. breakfast. Just <laughs> we like breakfast. Um, I've only just finished eating mine, so I'm still thinking about What did you have? I had a hot cross bun. Oh, strong. Very strong. Very oh, it's easy to eat, so it's hot cross bun time. Yeah, I love Toast. that. Lightly toasted, some butter. Oh. Mm, the dream. It's extremely powerful that you're that you are eating a hot cross bun for breakfast, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good breakfast choice, I think. I respect that. It's a standard breakfast choice. I have it a lot of the time. It's a good breakfast food. It's got a bit of cinnamon. It's like yeah, sweet, the raisins. But carby. And it's like mm. quick and easy to eat. Not too filling, but it gets you pepped up for the day. And easy to prep as well, which is always very nice easy to prep. Oh my god! And you know, if you do it properly, no washing up. Mm, exactly. <laughs> the dream. So, Flora is absolutely destroying some bacon and eggs, I think. Good. Plate is I thought Flora was a vegetarian, am no, I wrong? No, Elspeth's Not a vegetarian. Anymore. <laughs> Flora's, Flora's, right. Flora is my, like, carnivorous, like, I get to live out my carnivorous dreams yeah. vicariously through By her. proxy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone eventually makes their way over to the table. Um, Loki makes himself the most disgusting looking sandwich you've ever seen oh. in your life. <laughs> it's like, you know doorstop sandwiches? Yeah. Yes. Those really, yes, really thick boys. So it's like a Big thick boy. bit of bread, some butter, some lard, some meat. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> some egg. 
like two different types of egg in the sandwich. How much is it oozing? Oh, um, it's oozing a lot. It's yeah, and he's just they are just eating their way through it. But it seems to be working. They don't seem to they don't seem as dead. Vanison also eventually comes over and just starts inhaling scrambled eggs. We love to see it. That we do. Um, Cleo, could you pass me the orange juice, please? Um, yeah, sure. Thanks. It's, I'm guessing there's just like orange juice there. There's different kinds of juices there. You're not sure what fruit they are. One looks vaguely like orange juice. The orange coloured juice. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want like smooth or like with pulp? Or... How pulpy is it? Like, give me a give me a rating. It's just a whole orange. Uh... <laughs> it's just like an orange bobbing in it. <laughs> like... Like a seven? I don't know. That's quite. That's quite a lot. I'm more of like a three kind of girl. Like, okay. I'll go for smooth. Okay, I'll, I'll go for the smooth one. I don't even know if it's yeah. orange. It's like this is orange color. I'm gonna give it a sip. You you do give it a sip, and it's it's very it's not orange juice, but it's very Ooh. pleasant. It's kind of slightly sweet, but also slightly tangy. You know, oh, this very is sort good. of dances Ooh. across your taste buds. Very very refreshing. Guys, try some of this. Like it's got like a citrusy vibe but crossed with something a little sweeter like a berry can i use my great mixer of drinks again except just to do breakfast smoothies yes you can yay i was like i'm getting some damn use out of this ability (laughs) everyone has like the best breakfast smoothies yes delicious also luce you've been going to the tolkien school of food description huh yeah right listen I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough hot cross bun for you? I'm just always yeah, hungry. Maybe. I'm just always thinking about food. Like, a good 25% of my brain is always just thinking about food at any given point. Honestly, mood. 90% for the... Some some little uh, RWD cost law for the listeners is, like, 90% of the time whenever Will and Luce hang out, they just go and eat their body weight of meat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. The... the... When, back when it was allowed, oh, um, those beautiful we, times. Those beautiful times. Lisa and I had a day in Oxford where we just went to as many different bookshops as possible, and um, and Luce ate like a hideous. We well, we both ate a hideous amount of barbecue food. Oh, it was, it was so great. good. I bought myself a <laughs> yeah. copy of the Necronomicon, and I ate yes, a load of meat. Yeah. It was a good time. Y- yeah. A really nice copy. It's like hardback, and then like the hardback cover. It was a black hardback, with, like gold. Oh, I've seen that one. It oh, is very it's cool. Beautiful. Uh, don't like HP Lovecraft because he is disgusting racist. Yeah, podcast Lovecraft, disclaimer: we do not endorse HP. We do not endorse HP Lovecraft. We do not like him, but I love cosmic horror. And <laughs> yes. We take his cosmic horror and we make it gay here yes. at RWD. That's what we just do. to insult him. I feel like it would really spite him that we do you that. Just hate, like yeah, you'd hate. Oh, that. he would absolutely he would be hate so it. So mad. Well, speaking of cosmic horror, shall we start? No, yes. I don't like that segue. <laughs> I would not ride on that segue. <laughs> oh dear. So you all have breakfast, and at, at some point, um, there's another. Well, I say a knock on the door. It's a one singular loud knock on the door, and before anyone can say anything, the door flies open, and Thor staggers into the room. He looks a little worse for wear, a little bit like all of you. Just comes and sits down sort of nods like, ah, hello. I give him a smoothie. <laughs> he drinks it. Ah. I throw up a peace sign. He throws one back looking confused. <laughs> hey man, what's good? What's good? Um, lots of things. What's good for you, <laughs> man? <laughs> Cleo and Thor really are kindred spirits. No, I think she means, like, what's going on? Like, what's up? Ah, what's up? Yeah. I have been told to come and tell you that you are invited for lunch in my mother's garden. That's nice. Um, I kind of look at Loki like... Uh, Yeah, I imagine we're all looking at Loki (laughs) like, what does this mean? Do we leave? (laughs) Sure, we can do this. Right. We'll get ourselves presentable. Um, what time is it? It is past noon. It is late. Oh. Oh, so like lunch now. So, so like we're late. Not, we no, no, um, I just, 
go there as soon as you can. And then he okay. sort of slaps Loki on the back, winks at Manison, thumbs up, <laughs> like a confused thumbs up at you three, and then leaves the room. Hang ten side right back at him. He looks even more confused at this, nods somewhat. You know, that's, you know when like a puppy is confused and it puts its head on the side? <laughs> yeah. He does that a bit. Uh, my dog does that all the time. leaves the room walking backwards. <laughs> so stupid i really like him i love how he makes an entrance like everywhere it's great he's yeah. good at Fresh. making an entrance right anyway i suppose we should get ready if um we need to go see the queen yeah what's like what what are the do's and don'ts and that sort of thing because like I'm not really in a mood to get, you know, Smited. sent to like some weird Norwegian hell or oh, something. Don't, so. don't. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, I mean, it, it looked like you were last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flora offers Elspeth a high five. I, Elspeth, like, tentatively does a high five. Whoopa! <laughs> Whoopa! Just, um, don't. Just imagine you're meeting, um, a person in charge of the university. So don't, you know. Swear, okay. don't do anything overly stupid, but you don't, it's nothing fancy. It's Asgard, okay, cool. it's all hitting each other with sticks. They're not that big on, you know, formalities. I can vibe with that. Um, shall we, is there like a shower? Yeah. Um, through, through that door. Is, is they... Is there going to be anyone else? I honestly have no idea. I haven't been on Asgard for quite some time. Um, uh-huh. uh, I wasn't banished. I would like to state that categorically. I was not banished. I just in felt it. In this, like, time yes. thing? Yes. Or I in, honestly, in any of them? I honestly wouldn't know, but I just sort of couldn't really deal. So I maybe left... I have been banished before, but um, yeah, this timeline yeah. is strange to me. Everything is too nice, and I don't trust it. That was deeply unsettling. Yes. Um, shall we get ready? Well. Yeah. Uh, the, they um, point me to a door and open it, and it's, it's not a shower room. It's essentially a load of small pools of different temperature dug into the floor nice. with lots of like nice smelling things bars and soaps awesome yeah Flora will have a wash and then find some again like Aragorn Ranger-esque clothes oh, if she yes. yeah, there's, get there, dressed. there's loads of clothes here you could essentially be wearing whatever you want nice <laughs> Is, is that GM code for? I don't care what you wear, get a move Well, on. I'd like you to describe yes. what you're wearing, but I'm not going to be like, oh, they've got Ooh. these five things you can choose from. Yeah. Ah, okay. Floor is probably, again, it's sort of similar to last time where I think it's like a like a short waist length cloak. And after hearing Elspeth say that green was her colour, she's just like going fully in that direction. Is it very Robin um, Hood? Yeah, yes. like white puffy shirt, but like not like a not like a corset, but like a like a leather waistcoat. Yes. Um, and then like the thing that's like a short little skirt over like leggings. Nice. Um, generally, how any fantasy character dresses, and she's gonna see if she can find a really nice quiver for her bow and arrows. Ah, uh, you do. Yeah. It's nothing. It's yeah. not magic or anything, but it's very pretty. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice. That's what she's going for. Maybe if she can find like a cute little tiara to push her hair back. She's like, it's Ooh. for practicality. <laughs> it's not like a <laughs> tiara tiara. It's more like, um, a, you know, like an Alice like band. Like a jeweled headband. But like, yeah. with the green um, petals and crystal flowers. Brilliant. Yes, absolutely. Great. Nice. Elspeth, Cleo, what are they wearing? Um... Do you want to go ahead, yeah, so I want to go for like a sky blue cloak, and if possible, I'd like to clasp it with a little silver chain with a sun emblem on it. Oh, very fancy. Very fun. And so uh, under that like sky blue cloak, sun aesthetic thing, it's just very simple clothes, um, which would go under the armor, the armor that I'm not currently Ooh, wearing. Oh, you're not wearing the armor. Well, because we did steal it from the vault. This and, is true. Um, 
I, it was pointed out to me that it might be a little uh, uh, It is technically stupid. stolen property. <laughs> From the most secure place in the castle, but it's not a big deal. It's cool armor. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's, that's the vibe. Very nice. And Will, what is Cleo wearing? So, Cleo, I, I, I've, I've thought about this. It's a bit of a, an entertaining mash, as you'd probably expect. Um, so, kind of like, um, like um, you know, like those samurai sort of like Japanese worker pants, that mm-hmm. sort of thing? Yes. Love it. Um, with like, with like, and that with like a vest and um, like arm wraps, a bit like, a bit like a combination between Ray and one of the, whichever one of the Avatar characters it is, who wears like the, who's got dark hair and wears like the blue Soccer. thing. Soccer. Soccer, yeah. A cross between Ray from Star Wars and Soccer, but uh, she's also wearing like a backwards ball cap and her Jordans, so it's just like really bizarre. I love this. I love mashup. it. Yeah. That is incredible. Hi there, Skyons. Hope you're enjoying the first episode of season three as much as we did. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be back in the saddle. Um, And if you are also vibing with some traditional adventuring, then you guys should go check out our friends for this episode, Could Have Been Heroes. Could Have Been Heroes is a story of failed fairy tale heroes and second chances, actual played in a new type of RPG. You guys can go find them on any good podcasting service and at CBHPod on Twitter and Instagram. Go say hi and listen to their trailer right now. Do you like stories, fairy tales, adventure, happy, sad, scary things? Do you like fantasy gaming or just enjoy some good collaborative tale telling? Then do we have the podcast for you. Come travel with us in the lands of Un on Could Have Been Heroes podcast. Could Have Been Heroes is an actual play podcast where six old friends adventure as six total strangers who, after missing their shots at Destiny, now get a second chance to make a mess of everything. Tumble down to Faritol, a world cast in the spirit of Wonderland and Oz, but with more murder, blood, and swears. Set in a unique and developing RPG that filters fantasy, horror, pop culture, and other wonderful nonsense through the brains of a bunch of weirdos making their dream game. You can catch Could Have Been Heroes on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and wherever else you get your podcasts. With your new digs, your digs are mm. Loki leads you all to this garden, and it is beautiful. It's quite secluded. There's lots of gardens around the palace, but he's leading you through them to the specific. It's almost like a wall garden, so it's a little mm. bit separate area. It's ivy and other cl- um, other climbing plants wrapping up the walls these beautiful flowers flowers you've never seen anywhere on earth before they almost seem to be made out of precious petals but they're still growing and they are still flowers but the petals are metallic or crystalline and as the crystal ones as the light hits them they reflect where they refract all the light into spinning sort of rainbow patterns across the ground um, so there's like low flower beds very very nicely set out and in the centre there's this gorgeous fountain and next to the fountain is a table where the queen is sat with some sort of other ladies sitting there as well. Hell is one of them. They're all just sitting there <laughs> having the, equi- the Asgardian equivalent of tea. What beer? <laughs> Hot leaf juice. Hot brown morning potion. One of my favourite ongoing bits that we, that we have in our friendship group is called a coffee <laughs> hot brown morning potion. And so, Am, Am refers to coffee as that in real life as well. Which fun. I respect. I, I also like call you, HP source hit point source. That's pretty good too. That's a, yeah. Thank you. I have a brand. <laughs> Your brand is HP. <laughs> so you're all led over to you. She's very elegant. And you, there you can see there is that slight 
similarity there to Elspeth in sort of in some of the facial features. Mm. We all invited to sit down. You're offered the, you know, leaf juice, the hot leaf juice. Do you accept Say the hot it. leaf juice? Say it. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I take the hot leaf juice. Yeah. Um. um. After seeing other people uh, do it's it. It's yeah. almost like a chai, so it's like kind of like almost Ooh. spicy. Ooh, but it's not exciting. What you usually think of as, um, you know, you, you know, it's not your builder's tea, but it's more, they've taken lots of different plants and put them together to create kind of like a, slightly, a spicy warming um, drink. And as you drink it, you feel the last vestiges of your, vestiges of your hangover disappear. Amazing. This stuff is good. Yeah. I know, I I mean um I, should... I quite like it myself. That's the queen speaking. Um it's from um Vanir from, from where I am from. Reminds me of home. You guys You guys have a good good leaves back home then. Um <laughs> Oh I'm sorry, you're gonna have to roll me something for that statement. <laughs> oh no Roll me What's the, the roll for awkwardness? Composure. How do I roll that? Okay, great. <laughs> I actually have a lot of composure. It's gonna be so like composure um, etiquette. Composure etiquette. I don't have a lot of etiquette, so that balances out. In fact, do I have any? Um, does that exist? I can't does see it. it I thought it etiquette doesn't exist. Oh, am I thinking about a different system? I think there's definitely yeah. etiquette in vampire. I, yeah, there's, yes. um, I think you think you are thinking of vampire. Maybe culture. <laughs> yes, yeah, it'll be culture. Oh, guys, I'm gonna nail this one. He says, about to roll mm. badly. Uh, right. So, I rolled um, seven dice there, and let's take a look how many successes there are. That's a uh, that's a none. <laughs> oh my god. Is that the, the dice are the best back. story? Zero tellers. successes. Yes. And Wild. Seven. As you say. So she looks at you a little bit like <laughs> very confused. Like, okay. <laughs> yes. Anyway, moving on. Um <laughs> how are we all feeling after last night? Okay, although uh, as much as we appreciate this hospitality, a, a little curious as to why you would want to see us. Oh, I just I like meeting new people. It's very nice to find new people. And it's always very nice to meet new friends of family. Sort of mentioning towards, nodding our head a little bit towards Loki. Especially family we haven't seen in such a long time. Can I? <laughs> is there like any equivalent of an insight check I can do? A vibe check. Yeah, you want to do a vibe a, check? Can I vibe check? Yeah, I really want to do a vibe check. Vibe check is going to be... Come on, give me cutting. Yeah, it's going to be cunning and... Yes. Cunning culture. Empathy. Cunning culture. Okay, this is seven dice as well. Culture vibes. Uh, let's go. I thought it would be better than me. Okay, that is two successes, one exploding. Nice. Yeah. Two successes. This is very on brand. Um, you get the feeling that she's not telling you everything. But you don't think that she's lying. I'm just gonna hold eye contact with her and just sip my tea. <laughs> yep, you hold eye contact with her. She nods. Doesn't say anything else. Well, not so about that. But then she does, um, after this, she raises a slightly imperious eyebrow at you. And then turns towards... A winning smile. <laughs> turns towards um, Loki. And is um, sort of been such a long time, dear. Why don't you tell me, um, introduce your friends. And so, yes, um, of course, this is, you've met, um, Professor Manison before, friends with Thor as well, um, <laughs> met Manison. These are, um, Elspeth, Flora, Cleo, and Frederick, um, Frederick. They're new to Fre <laughs> yeah. Fred, like, winces slightly when he says Frederick. Um, and it's like, 
Aww. Don't do that, please. Um, and they are new. Uh, they have only recently discovered that they are Skyons. So I decided, why not show them some of the sights? Again, you're getting the feeling. Actually, can all of you roll me? <laughs> roll me. Intellect empathy. Go on then. Okay. 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 That's that's fine. I've got two. Oh, Five. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four. I have eight. Mm. One success. Sorry, this needs some uh, loud dice One, clacking. two, three. That's more like it. Three successes, one exploding. Three successes. Uh, no successes. So three successes for. Laura, none for Theo and Elspeth. One success. Okay. I'm useless during combat, but I can vibe check the hell out of someone. You're, you're good at the vibe checks. Okay. And I just roll badly at all times. Fred which is a good, also you know, ha- steady... Fred has two successes. So between all of you then, you're sort of whispering to Cleo. You sort of figure out... Look, he, you know, he was saying that he feels very awkward around Asgard in this life. Um... You are really starting to see that now. They are very good at sort of carrying themselves um, and not giving anything away. But they are, you can see that they're normally a little less weird. Yeah, I feel this. They're acting I vibe with this so hard. a little strange. And it's almost like they're acting like they think people should think they should be acting rather than being themselves. So he mm. sort of continues nattering on a bit and then just tails off um, and is just sort of sat there sipping the tea, nodding slightly. And so the queen sort of gestures um, one of the various ladies who sat around her and says, Will you, will you, will you bring me? Could you fetch the box for me, please? And the city rushes off and comes back with this very, quite small, maybe the size of just a bit bigger than a laptop, quite flat box. Um, and as she brings it over, the queen says, Well, I know being a Skyon is quite a dangerous um, occupation. And um, talking with my husband, I think. Well, in the interest of protecting family, we might offer you a gift. She opens the yes. opens the box, and inside there are these four like single arm fan braces. <gasps> and she hands one to um, each of you, and Fred gets one as well. So, and she said these will. Um, these will help to protect you when you are in danger. And she hands them over. Ooh, nice. Again, they've got that similar sort of. Um, they always match the armor that you stole from the vault. That sort of huh. golden <laughs> sun. <laughs> she knows. Golden sun. Thank you for your kind um, gifts. Awesome. Thank you. Um, what what do these actually do? That is a good question. They will help to guide your arm in battle, and in the most dire of situations, will protect you from death, but not forever. Their magic is only so strong. Mechanics-wise, this means... Yay! Um, <laughs> thank, that, that, thank you, Luce, because I was sat there going, what does this mean? <laughs> Once per session, so once per like episode, essentially. Oh, I need to write this down. You can use them, and sixes and up will be a success. Yes. So that's once per episode, and then once Ooh. per series. Oh. If someone loses, or if someone essentially dies, if if you if you are t- t- so injured that you are go to unconscious, you can um, get back five. Can get back up to 
oh, where it goes down to, like, so you can um, get rid of one, like, two. You can get rid of five points of damage essentially. So that could be like, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The orc thing, the half orc yeah, thing. Yeah, essentially. So, is it negating damage as opposed to regaining hit points? Yes, because so you have like the health, you have like bruised, injured, and maimed. So essentially, this could get rid of all bruising and injured, or if you're maimed, it could get rid of maimed. Okay. Yeah. So you can you can regain points. It's not yes. just on the point of what would kill yeah. you. You can stop it. Um. No. No. It's, so, but you you have to go down to essentially zero for it to kick in. But you get back. You go back about essentially up to about half health. Awesome. See, I can be benevolent. I'm still yeah. You are very benevolent. Although <laughs> the fact that you're preparing us by giving us stuff yeah. in case we die is like very distressing hey especially having started the session being like i can't wait to do horrible things to you all I- i'm immediately distrustful you know when you're in a video <laughs> game and there's like um a shop right before the final boss with all these massive healing potions that's what this feels like <laughs> i mean i i am now guaranteed to at least succeed on one roll per session which is nice Yay! which takes my successes up from zero <laughs> to one I don't know about guaranteed. No, I am guaranteed because I can get a six plus now. Um, I can make ah, it into a success, yes. right? Yeah, so you have to... Oh. If I roll above a six, yeah. that is. I have a mechanical question. Yeah. Do we have to declare our brace use before or after our roll? Mm. Before. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I, I, I like to imagine there's some sort of fun activation yeah. thing you can do for it, like like twisting a little thing. Yeah, or you can. There, there's like a sunburst on the top of it, and you hit the middle of the sunburst, and it starts glowing. There we go. Aww. And it makes that exact noise. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> you all have to make. That is how you're going to tell me that you are using these. <laughs> you have to make that noise. Aww. Yep. <laughs> so cool. We got some swag. You got some swag. So the afternoon tea, essentially, what this sort of carries on a little bit longer. The queen sort of doesn't leave, but you're more now chatting to the other guests. And um, Pell comes up to you, Cleo. Yes, uh-huh. yes, yes. Here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> hey. Uh, good, thank you, actually. Um. I I had some really nice smoothies and stuff. What about you? How are you doing? Oh, I'm feeling fantastic. You know, what with the whole, like, gestures to the dead side of her face thing um, doesn't really affect Mm. me that much. That's true. So you're not wearing your mask today? No, I decided not to. They can deal with it for today. She is beautiful. Like, she is very pretty, but yeah. it's quite yes. <laughs> disconcerting to look at. So it is, like, half... It's, mm. And it's not, like, exactly half down the face. It's almost, like... Not quite diagonal either, but it's it's less, like, completely half and half. It's more sure. natural looking. And so the half, quite tanned, very, very defined cheekbones, lovely, flowing, dark hair, and then just... Full skull on the other side. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks cool, but that's just me. Right, thank you. And she sort of winks at you and says, um, Well, I know that you're heading off on a quest, but if you ever find yourself near hell, come say hi. And then she wanders All right, off. Alright, um... Ooh. Hey, hey, uh, can I get your uh, number? Yes. My number? Oh. And uh, just whip quickly whips out her magic phone. Uh, I think you won't actually need a phone for me to communicate with you, I think. I don't know how this really works, but um, it was given to me by... Um, uh, do you know Bast? Have, have you met her? Oh, I do know Bast. She's a lot of fun. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think... I think it would cheer her up very much to know that um, this is what I'm using her gifts for, so go ahead. She takes the phone and does something, and in your contact lists, it now says hell, and there's a little skull emoji next to it. Love it. Oh, cute. Very cute. <laughs> she has big users emojis energy, so <laughs> that makes sense. And then she sort of wanders off into the gardens. 
All right, stay safe, and Cleo's going to blow a kiss after her. <laughs> she catches it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, from behind, she, she's walking where she catches it from behind, just keeps walking. Flora's, like, watching all of this with the biggest grin on her face. You good, Ben? Stare any more in your eyes, might drop out. <laughs> what, like hers? Dude, come on. Come oh on. god, Flora, man. <laughs> I want to offer Cleo a fist bump. And, um, yeah, fist, fist bump, and then wink at Fred, who's, uh, who I imagine is seeking a few glances at, uh, Flora as well. <laughs> this is a, a, a mess, this game. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, absolutely hilarious there. So, as, after a while, Loki sort of motions all of you to come over to where they are standing, um, well, I think that it is probably time for us to head away. I think we're all prepared now. Um, I have instructed some people to fetch us some food supplies. But I don't really think we can put this off for any longer. We must start to walk the world truly. You say that really ominously, but I'm quite excited. Like... You are for the moment. You won't be for long. Oh. oh it's oh. very dangerous. You're, you're crushing my dreams here, but it's fine. Before we start, there are some rules you must follow. Well, less rules. Don't trust anything. Um, keep your eyes on the path. And, oh yeah, that's about it. Keep your eyes on the path and don't trust anything. Um, trust, we can trust each other. Um, I have some magic that will help with that. But you will hear things, you will see things, and they will not be real. Well, some of them will be real, but some of them, it's confusing, just be careful. Um, try not to look down. Very long way to fall. Okay. Elspeth's writing this down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As am I in real life, but... <laughs> yeah. Flora is relying on Elspeth to write this down. You see, Loki looks quite worried about this. Right, well, I suppose it's time to leave. And they take you to through the gardens, and they take you to... It looks a little less manicured, a little bit more overgrown, maybe a little bit forgotten, sort of tucked around behind the back of the palace. This seems to be a little forgotten. Go through this little archway, and there's a tree there. It's a big old tree, you're not, kind of sure, you're not quite sure what type of tree it is. But Loki looks to all of you, um, so comes up to you and puts a hand on all of your faces. And as they do, you can sort of feel this unnatural warmth sinking into your skin. And as you look at each other, you can see that there is this sort of silver handprint on the side of all of your faces. Right, this will keep us connected while we are there. Uh, I just went very quickly through like the mental process of Oh, this is like Lord of the Rings. I should make a joke about that. Wait, Cleo probably hasn't seen Lord of the what? Rings. What? Uh, <laughs> we're going to make Cleo watch Lord of the Rings. Yes. That's the season game finale. watch of Lord of the Rings as characters. We can do it like yes. in real time. It'd be if the we worst ever have content. A oh, if we God. ever have a Patreon, we should watch Lord of the Rings <laughs> as our characters. A commentary track. Yes. Elspeth's like, Fantastic. so the fun thing in this scene is that when he kicks the helmet... <laughs> She's that, she that one. Anyway, so, Vicky, then, so you all have this silver handprint on the side of your face. Nice. It walks towards, they walk towards the tree. They put their hand on it, and it almost, it's almost like it's been hit by lightning. It cracks in half. And in the half, there isn't what, there isn't just from where, what you'd expect of the landscape continuing on behind the tree. It's a void. Oh my god. The 
darkest black. It's almost the absence. It's, it's less the color color black and more an absence of any color. But the longer you look at it, the more you can see swirling things, almost tentacle like writhing Ugh. in this. They're the same color as the as the void, but there is a sense of undulating movement. Mm, and Loki leads you all undulating. through the portal. And that is where Don't love that. we are going to end today's episode. Ooh. So good! Oh no. <laughs> Can't believe you used the word undulating. That was I know, I was proud of that. Yeah. Excellent. I'm so excited. Oh, fun times. <laughs> I I had it seems it seems impossible to say but I'd forgotten how fun this game was and now now that we've played it I'm like oh my god this is why I love our recording <laughs> sessions because we immediately get to record the next episode after I cannot wait yeah we do unfortunately the lovely listeners won't be able to go straight into the next episode and they'll have to wait um in the meantime they can catch up with some behind the scenes um photos tweets other fun threads um. Uh, on our Twitter at rwd underscore pod and our Instagram also rwd underscore pod and check us out on our Discord where you can ask us whatever you like. Um, you can find the link to our Discord on our Twitter. If you want to listen to back episodes, you can of course uh, head over to uh, our link tree, which is again linked on our Twitter or on whichever nice podcasting app you like to use at a rendezvous with destiny. Woo, or non, good job. Non nice podcasting app you if can. You want. Also find me um, in uh, Deck of Many Aces, uh, which is um, a 5e D&D podcast uh, made and uh, played by actual asexuals. Woo! We will be um, releasing, we release new episodes every other week to when RWD releases on the Friday. And Ellie, our lovely guest, is our wonderful DM from that podcast. Um, I am also, until I think the first week of May, going to be on Weave the Tales Twitch stream. Uh, Mora Ravenswood Academy, where I get to play a very anxious witch who is much more like Elspeth than F- Flora. Um, mm. She's great, it's really fun, and my cast is the cast who does it with me is like amazing, just like you guys. Um, and you can find us there. And if things are looking up, you should keep our eye, you should keep your eyes on our friends at uh, Brain Adventures podcast. Because we might have some stuff coming up in that area as well. We're working on it. This isn't a promise. It's just a little hint. To be confirmed. To be confirmed. TBC. TBC. Everything is TBC. Everything is TBC. That's true. Um, how should we? What What do you want our fade out to be, guys? We got I a think couple. Our fade out. It's just us yeah. talking about what our fade out should be. I think you've started this all wrong. Yeah. We're bad at this. We probably should plan these things before we record. But we really should. No, we not again. This material is unofficial and is not endorsed by Onyx Path. We are claiming no ownership over Onyx Path intellectual properties, game systems, art or stories, which remain the properties of the rights holders. All characters, names and locations used are either public domain or are are entirely fictional and bear no intended resemblance to their real life counterparts. If you have any legal issues, please contact us directly.